friends welcome to biology for all today we are going to discuss a very important topic called a cell there are many important properties of cell some are cell is a structure and functional unit of life and second is each cell having its own genetic material what is genetic material genetic material is a genetic information which is passed on to the next generation every time when it is divided third is each cell having a tendency to divide and form a two daughter cell that means a cell is made from a pre existing cell and fourth one is each cell have a complex metabolic activity what is metabolic activity metabolic activity is categorized into two sub classes These two subclasses are anabolic reaction and catabolic reaction. Anabolic reaction means that is something is a form, and catabolic reaction means there is a some something is disintegrated. And next is each cell can maintain a homeostasis. Homeo what is homeostasis? Homeostasis is a stable state of a cell. How they maintain it? They they maintain it by changing their physiological. Next is each cell present equilibrium condition formation. First, you have to keep in mind that no cell is in an equilibrium condition. They are always in an excited condition. You can see here. This is a cell membrane, and in the outer side, there is a negative charge, and in the cytoplasmic phase, we have the positive charge. And there is a potential difference between a minus 70 millivolt. That means they are in an excited state. And next is each cell are capable of a self-regulation. That means they they are capable of doing their own metabolic activity. They don't require any external stimulus. That's all for today. Thank you and so much for watching this video. अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगा हो 